So I've been using the same home screen setup for about three years, and so, uh, I guess it's time we make a new one. Now with my previous home screen setup, I very much leaned in to the monochrome black and white aesthetic. And by the way, if you guys are interested in my previous home screen setup, I do also have an entire tutorial video on how to make that. But when creating my new home screen setup, I kind of wanted to try to give it some color um, but I'm not gonna lie, I totally ended up on another monochrome setup, so I'm sorry, I, I, I promise I tried. But anyways, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is my brand new 2024 Parker Burton home screen setup. And so I'm gonna fully walk you guys through on exactly how to make this home screen setup. And so I have this freshly reset Samsung phone here that I'm gonna be doing this on, but this should work on any Android phone out there. Now, first I wanna start off by downloading all of the assets that we need need so we're gonna need to download four apps one wallpaper and one backup file which we'll get to okay so the first app we're gonna download is called KWGT and by the way all of these assets are linked in the description of this video so you can access them easily but this app is like a custom widget maker and editor so we can edit our own custom widgets then once that's installed we're gonna download an app called coda for custom and this is actually a custom widget pack which is gonna work inside of that KWGT GT app. Then the next app is called Ycons, which is just a white icon pack. Then we have Nova Launcher, and this is actually the custom launcher we're going to be using to set up our whole home screen. And by the way, if you are someone who's scared of using a launcher, don't worry. You don't have to be scared. You know, I actually used to be scared of launchers myself because they were intimidating and I thought they were too complicated to be able to set up. But I promise I have a uh, way that is going to make this very easy and really you won't have to set up this launcher at all. Then the next thing we're gonna download is the wallpaper, which I have a Google Drive link in the description for. Now the way I actually got this wallpaper is I was looking in the Backdrops app, which is a wallpaper app, and I found this wallpaper, and then I recreated my own version completely from scratch with my own color scheme. And then the last thing we're gonna download is a Nova Launcher backup file. This is also a Google Drive link in the description, and this is what's gonna make it very easy for you to set up Nova Launcher, because the backup file is kind of just gonna set it up for you. Now it may do one of two things when you try to download this backup file. One, it might just automatically prompt you to open this in Nova Launcher and apply it. And if it does that, just go ahead and do it. But if it doesn't prompt you to do that and it just simply downloads the file without doing anything else, you can then open the Nova Launcher app. And then on the bottom left, you'll see an option for restore backup. And then you can find the backup file that you downloaded and tap on it and then apply it. And so at this point, you can now go ahead and open the Nova Launcher app and you can see that it's like mostly already set up automatically, but there's still a couple things that we need to fill in. But the first thing you'll need to do here is actually set Nova Launcher as your default launcher. And so if you swipe up to your app drawer and scroll down, you'll now see an app called Nova Settings. And then at the top, you should see a pop-up circled in red that says not set as default. Default. So just tap that and then change your launcher to Nova Launcher. And by the way, the Nova Settings app is actually how you fully control Nova Launcher. So there's tons of different settings and you can tweak exactly how you want your home screen to look. But since you applied that backup file, it just set all of the settings that I have automatically. So you don't actually have to change anything here. Now you'll see here that it automatically applied that white icon pack and automatically put all of the apps where I have them in my presets. But one thing you may also notice is that some of the apps have a white circle around them and basically what that is is a placeholder for the apps that I have set in my preset but if it has a circle around it it means it's just a placeholder meaning you don't have that app installed so you can either just long press that and click remove and like replace it with one of your apps or if you tap on that placeholder it can redirect you to the play store to then download that app and fill that placeholder also by the way if you notice that some of your apps in the app drawer didn't apply that white icon pack, you can fix that by long pressing the icon, tapping edit, and then tapping the actual icon. 
And then you can either tap the suggested at the top, which is probably going to be a good option for you, or you can just tap icons and then you can just scroll and search through the entire bank of icons to find one that you like. By the way, while we're talking about it, I do also have some extra apps hidden in a secret folder, just like my previous home screen setup. So if you tap in the middle, right above the little app cluster there, you'll see that there is a secret invisible folder with some extra apps. So that's just kind of a cool thing I like to do with my home screen. Okay, so really there's only three more things we need to do here. The first one is very easy. We're gonna set our wallpaper that we downloaded. So just go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap wallpapers, and then pick an image and you'll just select the photo that we downloaded. And if it's not showing up for you in this photo section, you can tap the three lines on the right and then tap browse. And then you can just search your like files app on your phone for your downloads and then select the wallpaper and then hit set wallpaper. And I'm gonna do home and lock screen. And now the only other two things we're missing are these two widgets, which you can see are being held with placeholders. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the one on the bottom, hit allow, tap the one on the top, hit allow, and then we're gonna set up both of these individually. So I'm gonna start with the bottom one, just go ahead and tap, it'll open up the custom app and we'll go through a quick setup. So I'm just gonna hit let's go, next, maybe later, maybe later, and now we are in the KWGT app. Now in here you should see Coda for Custom, the widget pack that we downloaded. So go ahead and open that up. And for this widget, we're gonna be using the one that's called K16. So you can just scroll until you find it or you can tap the search bar on the top and just type 16 and it should pop up. This will then open the widget editor. So just go ahead and hit okay, okay, okay. And then when you tap in here, you can edit the widget to be how you want. I don't really edit this one much at all besides just really the size of the widget so it you know looks good so maybe I'll set it to a scale of 50 or 60 or so whatever really works for you then you're gonna hit save on the top right and now when you go home you'll see that the widget is there then we're gonna edit the top widget so go ahead and tap that placeholder go to coda for custom again and this one is called k83 now you'll notice that this widget has some more elements than the last one so I'm actually going to edit this one down to be more simple so first of all under items I'm gonna tap stack group and this is all of the different elements that we have and specifically I want to remove this rectangle shape and this text area so I'll check both of those and then tap delete on the top right now I also would like for the date to be below the day of the week so I'm actually just gonna drag it to be beneath and just swap those you'll also notice that the date is not in like the regular US format so to change that I'm gonna tap the text option where it has the date tap the date here and then I have this little like field this formula editor that I can change and I'm actually just gonna swap the lowercase dd and the uppercase mm to switch them around and then if you hit the check on the top right it should save that option now I also want to change the color of this widget so I'm gonna go back back again then go to globals and tap the little color picker on the right here and I'm just gonna change it to be like a dark gray color and then go ahead and hit apply and then the only other thing I'm gonna do is just make this widget larger to fit in the space a little bit better and then again you're just gonna hit save on the top right and then when you go home boom there is pretty much the finished home screen. Now, if you do wanna tweak these widgets a little bit more, like maybe you made them too big or too small or whatever, you can tap the top widget to open the editor again. Now, for some reason, if you tap the bottom widget, it doesn't open the editor. So to access the bottom widget, just tap the top widget to open the editor, tap the three lines on the top left, then go to available spaces, and then you can select that other widget and you can edit it how you like. But anyways, that is it. That is the official late 2024 Parker Burton home screen. And I will probably be using this one for at least a year or two. I guess we'll see until I decide to make another one. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. I hope this home screen uh, look looks good. If it looks good, be sure to type in the comments Looks good, Parker. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.